Hi, Mr. Dell here. So we are looking at, this is CC3, and this is section 3.1.6, specifically looking at number 3-58, okay? So on 3-58, we've got, um, from review preview, we've got a situation where we're looking at uh, three figures, figure one, figure two, and figure three. And it says, on graph paper, draw figure zero and figure four for the pattern below. And then describe figure 100 in detail. So you could use graph paper just so you could see the squares uh, for drawing them. Um, or if you had if you didn't have graph paper, drawing that out in binder paper would be okay as well too. But since I've got graph paper, I will draw it out. But let me talk about what we have happening, right? So if I'm thinking about my pattern, there's a few ways to look at this pattern. You may see it different ways as well. So I, I tend to look and I see two different parts of this pattern. I see the uh, square that's being growing every time. So I'm looking at this square growing every time. And then as well, I'm looking at the, um, you want to call it a tail, the one dimensional, one row that is growing also each time. So that'll help when I think about what my growth is for my fourth figure, as well as my zero, my hundredth figure, and then going backwards for the zero figure, it might give me a little bit of sense of what that's going to look like. So if I look at my figure one, my figure one, I'll just write down some details here is the square is a two by two. And then it's got this additional two pieces, this additional row of two. And then this would be a three by three with uh, an additional row of four. And this would be a four by four with an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, row of six. So that might help as we think about what, what then would figure four look like? So I would, I would assume, I mean, I would, based on this pattern, I'm going to uh, predict, not assume, I'm going to predict that figure three, or excuse me, figure four, uh, this figure three, figure four is going to have a five by five. And then if I look at, so I went two by two to three by three to four by four. So figure four is gonna be a five by five. And if I look at the additional row, it's two, four, six. So it's gonna be plus eight. So we can draw that. So I might just draw that here. So five by five, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So here's, a, here's my five by five portion. That would be part of my figure four, right? Let me get a better pen so you can see that thicker. So this is the five by five part of it. And then and then it's going to have eight. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'll go to here. So that's what figure four would look like. Okay. So if we go backwards to figure zero, figure zero, um, if if I'm if I'm going to if I'm my row, let me write out figure zero over here so we can see what we're doing. So figure zero, if my rows have been adding, my extra row has been two, four, six adding. So really, my figure zero is going to know have a, not have an extra row. And then if I think about the dimension of the square, I notice the square, the dimension of that little square piece is a two by two, then three by three, then four by four. So if I go backwards, four by four, three by three, two by two. So my figure zero would be a one by one. So my figure zero, really, if I'm going to draw it on this figure zero is going to be a one by one, right? Just a single um, square with no additional row. So I would say that's that's what figure zero looks like. And then what we have here is figure figure four. So how would we describe the other pieces? You don't have to draw it because it would take up a lot of room, but we now have to describe what figure 100 looks like. So figure 100, let's talk about what that's gonna look like. Figure 100, if I notice each of these squares 
are are one higher than the figure number. Do you see that? Figure one is a, has a two by two, two has a three by three, three has a four by four, and then uh, four was a, a five by five. So that means that figure 100, okay, figure 100 will have a um, square, I'll call it a square shape, of 101 by 101 units, okay, we'll call them units, plus what? Plus an additional row of how many? So if we look at the, the pattern here, it's going by twos. So how do I do that with figure 100? Well, think about this. It's one times two is two. It's going by twos. It's doubling two times three is six. Two times four is eight. It's doubling the figure number. So it would have an additional row of what? 200 units. So that's what my figure would look like for figure 100 because of the patterns that I see with each of those figures. All right. I hope that helped.